Friday night. We are grilling a little bit. We've got some veggies and some burgers for Brian and some pineapple. And I'm just sitting out by the fire. We play a little bocce. We're 2-2, two -two, so once Brian's done grilling, we'll try again. <laughs> My lovely not raft garden house. <laughs> you know, real life, guys. I had to hose everything down because everything had pollen on it. We were just enjoying, enjoying some outside time because it looks like it's gonna rain. Got the grill going, got the fire going, and I'm gonna spend the time outside while we can. This morning, I went on a walk with some friends. Then our local housing office was giving away free plants. So I walked up there with a friend to collect my, my pack of free plants and brought them back. I ended up getting some marigolds that hadn't bloomed yet and they're a really tall version. Version? Variety? Species? Variety. So I think they're gonna be really nice and marigolds are supposed to keep the mosquitoes away. So I bought some earlier this week uh, at Fred Meyer because they were on a sale. And then um, when I saw these, I knew I wanted some more. <laughs> Einstein is in complete despair because we won't let him outside. Today we're going to walk the dog park trail. We actually went to drive up and the dog park is closed, I'm assuming because of COVID. So we parked across the street and we're just gonna walk over because we're not using the dog park, we're using the trail. So it's the South Davis dog park. So um, if you're looking for it in the Fairbanks area, you could just plug that into your GPS and the trail is right next to the dog park. Like I said, it's closed right now, but they have the one on the other side of town open. And so when it opens back up, there's also a dog park over here. And this trail is dog friendly too, because it's right next to the dog parks. One thing I really like about a lot of the trails around Fairbanks is that they have these little signs along a lot of the paths. They have these in Creamer's Field as well, and there was one at the beginning of the path. And I think this is a really cool opportunity if you're hiking or walking with kids because it gives them like a little opportunity to learn, especially if you're homeschooling. Like what a cool, a cool way to learn, to like get to walk from sign to sign. Um, but this particular one is talking about the Alaska State Bird. So similar to the Belaine Lake Trail that we did last weekend, there's quite a bit of road noise, even though we're like out in the middle of this forest. Whoa, buddy, the mosquitoes are horrible. I think they're like pretty bad right now in general, but, and there's like some standing water on the side of the trail, but I don't even know, can you see them swarming? It is, they're bad. They're really bad. I won't blame the trail, but this is definitely worse than last weekend. I did learn a small lesson from the Belaine Lake hike, and I wore boots, just in case. Well, that was a short little walk. <laughs> we would have taken our time more if the mosquitoes weren't so bad. And we went to check out the dog park. It's pretty, pretty much no need for explanation there. It's just like a, good old dog park. Big dog section, small dog section. Nothing, nothing crazy. The Fairbanks Dog Park Trail is less than a mile and a half and it's a loop so it just loops right back around. Like I said, lots of mosquitoes. Um, I think we'll probably have some, some bites. <laughs> but what did you think? It was good. Any outstanding opinions? I feel like if it was in one of the cooler months, it'd be a lot better trail to do. Yeah, maybe we could come back in like September or something. Yeah, so it was really pretty. And I think that maybe Hercules could do that trail. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll bring Hercules. Would he want to? That's a different question. There, it feels like there's a mosquito in my eyelash, but maybe there isn't. I'm just being dramatic, but... Anyway, this would be a great trail if 
you had a dog that you were trying to get acclimated to hiking or walking trails, I think this would be a really good practice trail for that. Or if you just had an older dog that you didn't want to be in any rush. We, it's 9.30 now, so we're out here pretty early, so we didn't see anyone else on the trail. So it might be busy at other times. We can't really, oh gosh. <laughs> Literally right up the road from the dog park is this rotary playground. I think technically right now it's still closed because of COVID, but COVID times aren't gonna be forever time. So I did wanna show it off because it's a really cool playground. Here's, there's a notice. Okay, so it's not actually closed, but it's just saying like, if you have symptoms, don't don't play here, things like that. I just wanna show this off because it's a rotary playground and those are usually really accessible for all children, even children who may have disabilities. So we've got these cool little diggers here and then it's turf, which is really nice. A little climb through, I wonder if these roll. Oh yeah, those roll, pretty cool. Regular swings. A little globe to climb in. This is awesome. Just like a little bowl. Oh, it spins! That's way cool. And then, this is like a little... Gosh, there's no one here. This is crazy. <laughs> this thing's super cool. Check this out. Yeah, this is awesome! Whoa, it's coming back. Oh, man. <laughs> and then, here's a little... Here's another one. This one has like a little stand on thing. How fun is this? And this would be great if you had like a little one and a bigger kid. This is awesome, this is a really cool playground. There's a, I think there's a couple of rotary playgrounds or at least one rotary playground in Wichita. And I just love that the Rotary Club does these like really accessible playgrounds for kids of like all, types and all sizes and all abilities. I think that's really awesome. If you and your family feel comfortable, this would be a great place to come play. Like I said, there's no one here. And it's right across from the dog park. And also right across from the baseball fields. And there's lots of picnic tables out here too. So this will be a really cool like little family hangout. If you feel comfortable or yeah, once all this, this big COVID scare is mitigated a little better, it'd be a really cool place to come play. stopped by Sportsman's Warehouse to grab these thermocells. I don't know how it works. Magic, mostly. It emits like a little smoky thing to keep mosquitoes away. And after our hike today, we were, that was our next stop afterwards to grab the thermocells because we'll be in Denali next weekend and we don't wanna be getting eaten by bugs. And the kind that we bought have a little clip that you can just clip right onto your backpack. So that'll be really nice. We also got a few other things when we stop by the greenhouses, let me show you. Also, I'm going to do a bull plant tour at some point. I am not, I do not have a green thumb. I just dream of having a green thumb. So I'll do a plant tour eventually. This is just a like a little bit of what we bought today. We got some more potting soil. We were fresh out. Brian got this big pot. What are you gonna put in here? You're new guys? Yeah, I'm interested. So let's see, Brian got a dianthus and a salvia plant and this is an African daisy right mm -hmm. and a dahlia is a dahlia your favorite flower it's good you sure do like them huh and then I finally found a burrows tail succulent and I got this little pot for it which is so cute and it comes with a little twine so you can hang it up if you want very excited about those and then I got these two longer planters because I think I mentioned that our housing office was giving out free plants and I got these marigolds and they need some space and then some plant food for my succulents. 